And he's off. And there he goes. Roman Dumas. <laughs> Holy yes. fast. Oh, that is one extremely fast car. I mean, it was about yes. a second from Holy the time it moly. left the starting line until the time it was out of sight. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know if the helicopter will be able to keep up with this guy. Holy smokes. And Roman Dumas is coming into view. He is coming. Can you see him right there, Dave? Just came around. He came around the corner and is now headed into the Glen Cove. There's a little dog leg that yep. goes to the right and then back to the left. Then they move everybody to the inside lane through the Glen Cove brake check area. He has gone through that. Here's we'll see right. him just above. There he there is, he is right just there. above Glen Cove, going into the Cove Creek area. There's only a handful of spectators in, in Cove Creek, and boy, they're getting a view right now. And here Roman he comes. Roman Dumas yep. through the Cove Creek area. He will be heading on up toward the Elk Park area. He is really flying, using all of that road. The helicopter straight below us at 16 miles. And everybody at 16 mile is standing on there their feet, waiting for, for Roman Dumas. The crowd is standing on miles. its feet. This is some of the most exciting, some of the most exciting racing you will see anywhere. He is now up the long straightaway. This will take us into the horseshoe below 16 mile. This is a, an area officially called the W's. Here he comes through the horseshoe.
And here you guys come. Roman Dumas is coming. He is heading straight towards 16 Mile. Couple more corners to come. The helicopter is hovering right over in his VW IDR Pikes Peak. An unbelievable, unbelievable. And we are here to to call the action for you, Roman Dumas, number 94. This is that specially prepared Volkswagen for Pikes Peak. Get there he goes. You hear practically nothing, nothing as it goes by. That is an unbelievable run. What do we have for time to hear? You know, you guys, this is, of course, a completely unofficial time. So this is unofficial, but we had it unofficial. at 5.52, 5 5 5.52 yeah. 5 to, to, to 16 miles. Again, a completely unofficial time. We were just following it on the uh, stopwatch. 136 miles an hour through the H&H &H tire radar gun at the picnic ground uh, through here. Uh, in, in five minutes and 50 seconds unofficially. So it could be, it could be a record run. It'll depend. There's a couple of miles between us and the summit of Pikes Peak. This is 16 mile. The summit's about 18 and a half, 19 when you get there. And, uh, and, and so there's a couple of miles. There's another long straightaway up there and a couple of nasty turns. Heisey's turn just below the summit. And is of course, we're hoping memorable. that. It was a good, uh, good run, finally in the eight after so many years that I try. Uh, the run was sector one was very good. Uh, the car was nice to drive. Fortunately, in sector two with the fog was very humid the corner, so I think I lost quite a lot of time there. And at this point, I said, okay, now I, I take no risk on the hairpin and I go to the end. Sector three again was a little bit of sun, <clears throat> so I was pushing a little bit more. But uh, yeah, you know, this is Pike Peak with the weather. Uh, we wait down in a, I wait in a car, I think 40 minutes before the start. It was very long, a lot of stress, always too much stress on this race. Yeah, for me, it's uh, each year the most uh, stressful race. And I think this one was uh, the top of my career in terms of stress. <laughs> so I'm very happy to be here, to reach the top. Uh, congratulations to Volkswagen, you know, we can make a car like that in eight months. I'm speechless. Yeah. Volkswagen came here to set the record and they did it and they smashed it.